Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you why I believe you should not strive to become a perfectionist and take it from me because I used to take a lot of pride in being a perfectionist. Ever since I can remember, I was striving to do my absolute best in everything that I could do, putting in the extra work, staying behind work or class or whatever I was doing, being annoyed by the small imperfections, making sure that it was up to extremely high standards. That is how I wanted to be seen by others, that's how I saw myself, that's what I plastered all over my CV and my website. Even to this day, I think people might still say that I am a perfectionist, but I no longer say it anymore because I think that was one of the biggest mistakes that I've ever made. Putting a label on myself that is actually quite unattainable. It's really difficult to live up to such a label as a perfectionist. Please don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that I'm not still that same girl, I'm not saying that I won't still work hard, do long hours, because I take pride in what I do. If I'm doing something, I'm usually doing it out of passion and I do want it to be of a certain standard. But instead of saying that I'm a perfectionist and this is a perfectionist quality, I usually just say something along the lines of, I'm an enthusiastic hard worker because that is more accurate. The reality of the situation is that perfection is unattainable. It is not real. You cannot reach those standards. And there's probably some of you shaking your heads right now being like, what are you talking about? Of course, of course you can and you should always strive to. And even if it is unattainable, you should still be trying to get it. And if you can be of that mindset where you realize you're trying to reach 110%, however, that's not attainable. So if you get to 80 or 90, that's okay, then that's perfect. If you can be that person and not beat yourself up about not actually reaching the perfection of the title that you're giving yourself, you know, because if you're saying you're a perfectionist kind of means that you're reaching perfection or that you're not happy until you reach perfection. However, pretty much unattainable to even reach your own 100% standards, let alone everyone else's 100% standards as well, because perfection is subjective. Everyone else has their own opinions of what something perfect is is so maybe you'll create something or you'll do a piece of work and in one person's mind it is absolutely 110 percent they don't know how you've done it it's amazing they love it another person will just be like what is this i don't like it it's not even 50 percent and you can't help the way that they feel about what you've created or made or or try to achieve, it's just their own personal opinion. However, to a perfectionist, that is a massive knockback because what you might have thought was perfection is now being told that, that it's not. So how do you change that thing or how do you take on board that criticism for next time to then reach that one person's idea of perfection that then might change how other people perceive it, the people who already like it? Are you, <laughs> Am I making sense here? <laughs> Basically, it's hard enough to reach your own unattainable expectations than to reach unattainable expectations of so many others as well, especially in this day and age where pretty much everything that we do is shared online to a global audience of millions. You cannot reach all of their high expectations. And if you're telling everyone and you are expected to be a perfectionist, that's what they're going to assume that you're going to create. Or even if they're not assuming it, you're going to assume that they're already assuming it because you're already telling them that you're a perfectionist. So you know that that's their idea of you because you've planted that in their head. And that's a lot of pressure to put on yourself to be reaching perfection in everything that you do. No. Don't do that to yourself, it's difficult. And when you're a perfectionist, you start to think in absolutes, which is detrimental to your mental health. Please don't do this. You start to think that unless it's perfect and at the best and highest quality and standard, then it's just not good enough. Nothing you do is good enough unless it is up there, unless it is perfect, unless it is reaching the impossible it's not even good enough. So you end up crippling yourself, you end up stifling yourself because 
You can't do anything because it's not going to reach that unattainable perfection level. What is the point in that? Surely you want to be making as much as you can or doing as much as you can, practicing as much as you can. I don't know what you want to be perfect at. And I'm talking mainly in a career sense, but I'm going to go on more in a second. But surely you want to be doing that more so, so that you can be progressing in what you do, getting feedback, trying out new things, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't, than just trying to make every single thing that you do do hit an impossible barrier. It just doesn't make any sense. You're gonna end up looking lazy, you're gonna end up looking like you're not doing any work. If that's what you're worried about, that is what you're going to end up being seen as, instead of being seen as a hard-working perfectionist. Deep. Blech. And this isn't just inclusive to the working world. If you develop this mindset of perfectionism and thinking in absolutes, that's a very detrimental way of thinking and it can kind of seep into other realms of your life. It can become overwhelming and the thought of being perfect just kind of eats away at your, your personal life, the things that you should find fun, your relationship with your friends and family, any closer relationship with a singular person, or even the way that you look, the way that your body is shaped, the way that your, your face appears. Everything needs to be perfect. Everything needs to live up to those high expectations that you have been giving yourself, that you have been living by, the rules that you have set yourself. And that is when you realize it's gotten too far. Being perfect is impossible. I guess perhaps what's difficult about being a perfectionist is once you allow other people to imprint their ideas of perfection onto you, that's when you start to really criticize yourself. That's when you start to really wonder what you're doing and how you can achieve what you thought was high standards, but now you're constantly changing these all the time to appease other people. Because essentially, if you're perfect, are you doing it for yourself or are you doing it to please the world and this mankind around you? Because if you're perfect, then who does that help? I mean, if there were no other people around to judge you, surely you're perfect already, right? No one's gonna tell you otherwise. No one's gonna tell you whether your work is good or bad. No one's gonna give you a grade on a piece of paper. No one is going to tell you what your BMI should be. Ultimately, this was just a rant, trying to explain to you something that I have taken far too many years to realize. We all want to be seen as extraordinary, something better, something more interesting, some something more intelligent, well, whatever, whatever you strive to be, you want to be seen as it. You don't want to be seen as your average Joe. But you're not. No one is. Everyone's different. Everyone's got their own unique quirks and a reason for someone to become interested in them. And if they're not, that's their problem. But you can't be perfect. You can strive to be something greater than what you are. If you're a musician and you want to make your music better, you can strive for that. That's great. If you are a filmmaker and you want to become better at audio for your films, do it. But you can't be perfect. You only live once. And if you're reaching for things that you can never be an aunt, you'll never be happy with who you are. And you'll never allow anyone else to appreciate you either. You'll always be questioning how to, how to get better. Never just appreciating what's already there and what you can already do. So yeah, please don't be a perfectionist. Just, just don't do it. Be an enthusiastic hard worker, okay? I believe in you. You can do what you wanna do, but don't push yourself too hard. Have fun with it as well. If you're not having fun, there is no point in anything. Before I go, I just wanna quickly say a massive thank you to all of my patrons. I've been going through a lot with third year university and you know, this, you can kinda of guess from the video, just feeling like it. what I do isn't, good enough and whatever and um, you guys have been helping me on my on our discord chat and things like that and yeah just you're the best thank you so much I mean everyone who watches these videos are amazing I really appreciate just all, all the support that I get I need to stop being so silly and just to have more fun with my videos so anyway I want to say a massive massive thank you 
to you all. You've been amazing. Thank you. I hope you stick around. But um, I don't know. I'm rambling. Let's let's cut it there. Colin Williams, Elvis Miranda, Christine Batone, D. Bernard, my dad, Owen Accor, Michael Garcia, Tim Layton, John Moseman, Thomas Walker, E. One Nine Six, Mr. Thomas Graham, Jury, Farah Sayed, Kevin Van Der Torn, Ahmed Kamal, Daniel Bin Asman. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um, Nicholas. Blom, Salvatore Merrifield, August MP, Angelov, Andy Bonte, Romain Schroll, Isaac Ford Williamson, Wayne Wilde, and James Hehir, the Joker. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I should keep that in because I feel like I have just butchered everyone's names. I'm trying to say thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Thanks for letting me have a rant. <laughs> have a lovely day or evening. Bye.